I'm J.B. Portello. Welcome to In the Know, a POA-sponsored program to help keep you informed of all projects and events going on in our area. At the beginning of each month, we will post this program on the POA's Facebook site and make it available to the community television station. We hope you enjoy being In the Know. Welcome to another In the Know. Today's topic is about the Scottsdale Golf Course and all the conversation that's going on right now. We have two guests today to help you understand, and our very first is Tom Judson. Hi there. Hello. I'm glad to see you today. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, would you tell us, would you give us kind of a timeline of what's happening with Scottsdale? So um, we had tr a tremendous amount of winter kill mm -hmm. uh, on the greens. And so the greens are, are relatively new. They're immature. And uh, with the uh, record lows, uh, April was uh, a record low for the area all time. Uh, and we also had multiple days that were below zero. And so that just, it was too much for those greens to handle. So and winter kill means the grass just died. It just died. Okay. You know, and, and Keith's going to be up next. And you can ask a little bit more detail on that question. Oh, okay. But uh, basically, a, a large portions of many of the greens, uh, 14 out of the 18, uh, they're not going to come back. And we have to fix them. And so we decided that we were going to initially charge the twilight rate and see what we could do. But then we decided that with the number of negative comments that we were getting from our customers, it was just very obvious that we needed to do something and do something immediately. And so we had an emergency meeting on Friday and uh, Philip unfortunately was not able to be there, Philip Wright, mm -hmm. director of golf, mm -hmm. but Daryl Muldoon was able to be there. Uh, Kyle Soller, our golf course superintendent. Uh, Keith Eames was there, who's our director of golf course maintenance. Uh, David Welch, who is on the board of directors, mm -hmm. but also he made his living as an ar a golf course architect. Uh, Ruth Hatcher, who's on the board of directors, but is also the golf committee liaison. Bill Barr, who is the golf committee chairperson, and then myself. And we walked the greens, we looked at what was going on, and we determined that this was not a fixable situation. We knew he had to come in and we would have to re-sprig the greens. Mm. Uh, we also found out uh, through Keith's efforts that we could get the contractor in to reshape number 12 green. So number 12 green has been kind of a thorn in our side for a while. Uh, the slope is way too much and so the balls just don't hold on the green. And so we can come in and fix that green uh, and Keith can describe that in a little bit more detail but they can fix that green so it can hold uh, shots that come into the green. Uh, so that's kind of the silver lining but unfortunately we're gonna have to be closed uh, and we'll be closed all the way till September. Okay. Um, so that's where we're at. All right. Well, I appreciate that very much. And I think Keith's going to come up and talk about the history and give us a Absolutely. little bit more detail. Okay? Fantastic. So I'll see you a little bit later. Yes. All right. Thank you. Stay tuned for a moment. So we have with us today Keith Eames. Hi there. Hi, how are you? I'm so glad you're here because you're going to give us an even more in-depth information about Scottsdale. So tell us the history. What's happening with Scottsdale and where did it come from? Okay, well, when I started in 2014, one of my first goals was to find out what things we needed to do to all of our golf courses to improve them overall. Scottsdale's greens were old bent grass greens contaminated with POA, didn't perform well, weren't good putting surfaces during the summer. So we looked at converting them either to new bent grass or to some other variety, which is Bermuda grass. Stop one moment. Tell mm -hmm. us what bent grass means for those of us who don't know. The bent grass is a cool season grass okay. that typically is on greens into the south a little bit. Bermuda grass is typically a warm season, so it performs better in the summer than the winter. Uh, gotcha. Usually. Okay, yeah. okay. So we decided it wouldn't be able to put bent grass there without having to rebuild the greens because of some internal drainage issues. So Bermuda grass became a very viable option, a very uh, economical option for us to do. Uh, the reason is we already had nine greens at Brittany, mm -hmm. which had it, that had performed well for the last six or seven years. And in fact, there was one green, uh, number seven, at Scottsdale that had Bermuda when I got here, and it also performed well. So we felt like that would be a good choice for us. Okay, okay. So I, I understand that uh, the question's been asked that why can't you move the, the grass from Burksdale to 
uh, Scottsdale? Right, Burksdale's greens are bent grass. Again, those are pretty old greens. They have a lot of poana in them, which is a weed that most golfers don't like. It interferes with your putting quality, weakens the turf. So that's, that's one, of the main, one of the main reasons we don't want to use it is because bent grass sod this time of year is next to impossible to do. It's too hot. Gotcha. So that's the main reason. The secondary reasons would be we don't have enough square footage at Burksdale to do all the grains at Scottsdale, even if we use it all. And uh, so it, it just wouldn't make sense to try to do that this time of year. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, what about the tarps that you cover the things in the... Yes, tell us about that. Well, we chose a tarp that was a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. but it was it had a dark tint to it that we felt would work well here. They had used them through this transition zone. Uh, it turned out with the severe winter that we had this year, it didn't seem to perform as well as we would have liked. Uh, we're going to look at some darker tarps to be able to absorb a little more heat mm -hmm. during the day. And then the other advantage we'll have is we will still have the other tarps that we can use in double tarp. Because really the issue this year was because of the extreme low temperatures. Yes. Uh, because the previous year with those tarps it performed fine. Yes. Well, Mother Nature is not very cooperative most of the time. Yeah, I don't get much uh, Help cooperation <laughs> with her very often. Yeah, that's I know, exactly and just right. when you figure it out, she changes. She changes. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the folks about Scottsdale at all? Uh, just Well, while Scottsdale is closed, uh, Tom alluded to the fact we were going to do some repairs to the surface of number 12. Yes. Because that green with Bermuda grass is very quick in the summer months and it's kind of unfair to putt with the slopes. I met with the architect today mm -hmm. to look at the work and he's convinced we can get a good one and a half or two percent slope, which is more standard and be able to get that work done in plenty of time to allow us to get the sprigs down there. And then I know Kyle, during this time while we're closed, he's going to do some other improvements on the golf course as well and get everything a bright shiny with the goal being to open September 1. Okay, so really there's an opportunity to do even more. It, it's kind of an advantage right yes. now to get yeah. this taken care of. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well thank you so much for being here today. I'm thank sure you. this helps everybody. We appreciate it. All thank right. you. All right, stay tuned. We're coming back for a rumor. Okay, Tom, time for my favorite spot. Mm -hmm. uh, what rumor are you going to dispel today? So this rumor has been floating around a little bit, mm -hmm. is that uh, the POA and myself, name, namely myself, uh -huh. we're going to close all the golf courses within the next 20 years. Really? Re yeah, you really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know that either. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not factual at all. Uh, golf is always going to be an important part of Bella Vista. Yes. And, and I think where it's coming from is, you know, unfortunately the decision was made to close Burksdale. And then on, on the heels of that, we're having the issues with the greens at Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. And I think that it, you know, if, if one or the other had happened, maybe everybody would be okay. But both of them happening at, at almost the same time is, is a lot. And I totally respect that. And I totally understand that. But that, that rumor has no basis in fact at all. Yes. It, you know, I grew up on a golf course. My first job was as a caddy. You know, I played junior golf. I mean, I played with my parents. I love golf. We're, it, it, it hurts me and, and, and when you have a conversation with Keith and you talk about having to close Brooksdale, the decision, you know, it's tough on him. Right. You know, he's yeah. a golf course superintendent. He's, he's spent his entire life making golf courses better mm -hmm. and to actually close one is, is, is hard. Yeah. Uh, but closing one because of storm damage you know, regular incessant storm damage, and closing one because we've lost the greens, but it'll be back. You know, Scottsdale will be back, but that, that rumor has no basis in fact. Well, and Burksdale's open anyway, part of it till the end of the year. That's correct. So there are places to play. Yes. yes. So, uh, okay, well, thank you for dispelling that rumor. I'm always curious about where these come from, and you always help us understand. That's Facebook is a great source for interesting rumors. That's a good way to put it. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time for another In the Know.
Thank you.